Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 4 part 1 under the topic Bode plot. The problem is for the following transfer function, draw the Bode plot and obtain the gain crossover frequency. And this is the given expression. The first step is we have to substitute the value of s as j omega. So when you substitute here, g of j omega is equal to 20 by j omega 1 plus 3 j omega and 1 plus 4 j omega right after this we, we need to find corner frequencies so how to find corner frequency we have to take the reciprocal of the coefficient of s so here 1 divided by 3 is the corner frequency and here 1 by 4 is the corner frequency so just when you calculate the values you are getting the answer as 0.25 and 0.33 as I already said, based upon the corner frequencies, we have to give the name as 1 and 2, not depending upon the order of the terms here. That is how they are arranged. Based upon the arrangement, we should not say that 1 by 3 is omega c1 and 1 by 4 is omega c2. It is wrong. Right. So, here you see 0.25 is the least value. So, here we are naming it as omega c1 and 0.33 we are naming it as omega c2. Right. Then the next step is forming a table. So our table always has these four columns, term, corner frequency, slope and change of slope. So how to write the terms here? So the first thing is we have to include constant along with individual S term that is individual omega term. So here the constant is 20 divided by the individual term is J omega. So this is our first term in the table. So here we have to write 20 by J omega as first. Right. Then the next thing is we have to write the corner frequencies. So this is a constant term and individual as won't have any corner frequency. So here it is nil here. So the corner frequency is the first corner frequency is 0.25 and the second one is 0.33. So, which term constitutes 0.25? This 1 divided by 1 plus j4 omega constitute this corner frequency. So, write the term accordingly. Similarly, this 0.33 corner frequency is contributed by this term. Right. So, after writing these two terms, we are moving to the slope. So, here the omega is in denominator part. So, each omega contribute a slope of 20 decibel per decade. Since omega lies in denominator, this contributes minus 20 decibel per decade. Right. And here again when you look at this term, here also omega lies in denominator. So, again this term contributes minus 20 decibels. Similarly, this term also. Right. Because omega lies in denominator. So, here the slope is minus 20. Right. Next, we are going to find change in slope. So, change in slope is given by, that is, this minus 20 should be shifted downwards and we have to move this minus 20 to the right hand side. So, minus 20 minus 20 gives you minus 40. Then, the next step is, again, we have to shift this change of slope downwards. So, this minus 40 comes here and we have to move this minus 20 to the right hand side. So, minus 40 minus 20 gives you minus 60. Thus, our table gets over here. Now, we have to select two frequencies such that the value of omega L should be less than your first corner frequency and this omega H value should be greater than your second corner frequency. So, we are selecting the values as omega L as 0.15 and omega H as 1. Right. I had mentioned in the previous problems, no need that we should, you should always take only these values. Here omega L even you can take 0.1, even you can take less than that also, right. Here omega H it is 1 radian per second, even you can take 10, 50, 100, whatever may be, it's up to you, right. Now the next step is we are going to calculate the magnitude. So magnitude is given by mod of g of j omega in dB. So we are going to find magnitude at these four frequencies that is omega L, omega C1, omega C2 and omega H. Right. The next, next step is at omega equal to omega L. So at omega equal to omega L it is given by the magnitude value is given by constant and individual S. So here 20 log the constant is 20 by divided by j omega 
because it is given in the problem in that problem we are having only the constant as 20 and the individual is slice in denominator so 20 by j omega here the omega value is nothing but it is omega l so what is the value of omega l the omega l is given by 0.15 so just substitute the values here and finally using calculator we are getting the value as 42.5 db right and the next thing is at omega equal to omega c1 that is your first corner frequency so at first corner frequency again the formula for magnitude is given by the same that is 20 log 20 by j omega here the value of omega c1 is 0.25 so just substitute the value and finally you are getting answer as 38 dv right at omega equal to omega c2 so at omega equal to omega c2 our formula gets changed here you see change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 into log of omega c2 by omega c1 plus the value of a when omega equal to omega c1 right so this is my omega c1 and this is my omega c2 so change of slope from omega c1 to omega c2 is nothing but this minus 40 you see this minus 40 is shifted from this omega c1 to omega c2 so the value is minus 40 so here just substitute the value minus 40 into log of the value of omega c2 we already calculated it is 0.33 and omega c1 is 0.25 plus the value of a when omega equal to omega c1 when omega equal to omega c1 the value of a is 38 db so just substitute the values and once you solve you are getting the answer as 33 db right then the next step is at omega equal to omega h here again the formula like remains the same that is change of slope from omega c2 to omega h into log of omega h by omega c2 plus the value of a when omega equal to omega c2 right so what is the change of slope from omega c2 to omega h we have to refer our table so this is our omega c2 right and the value of omega h we have taken as 1. So this value lies here. So change of slope from omega c2 to omega h is here I am having minus 60 right and this minus 60 will be shifted here. So change of slope from omega c2 to omega h is minus 60. So just substitute the values here minus 60 into log of omega h is 1 and omega c2 is 0.33 plus the previous value at omega equal to omega c2 the value of a is 33 db. So just substitute the values here and finally we are getting the answer as 4 db. Here the trick to remember the thing is the value whatever it comes here this should remain as a numerator part omega h divided by the remaining thing should come as denominator and the value of a should be coincide with this that is plus a at omega equal to omega c2 right so finally we had calculated the values of magnitude we will list it out as a table so this is the table which we had finally formed right that is for omega the value of magnitude then the next thing is we are going to calculate the phase plot so the phase plot is given by angle of g of j omega so here this is the given problem right so the angle value is again a constant will never give you any angle so omega will give an angle of 90 degree so as i am moving this denominator term to the numerator part here i have included minus 90 similarly here for this term how to find the phase angle is the formula is tan inverse of imaginary coefficient divided by real term coefficient here the imaginary coefficient is 3 omega and the real term is 1 so tan inverse of 3 omega by 1 right again this denominator term i am moving to numerator so here i am writing it as minus similarly when you look at this term tan inverse of imaginary term is 4 omega the real term is 1 so tan inverse of 4 omega by 1 again i am moving this denominator term to the numerator so i had included minus right hope you people understand this well right then the next thing is we are going to form our table number 2 so the thing is the first part is the 
frequencies. So this frequency should include all the four values which we used while calculating our magnitude plot. That is, you see, here I had used these four values, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.331. So these four values, it is mandatory to include these values while calculating your phase angle, right? So after writing these values, you can take the in-between values also. That is between 0 0.15 and 0 0.25, there lies 0 0.2, right? So here I had taken 0 0.2. Even you can take 0 0.22 or whatever may be. Right. Similarly, you can take in-between values and higher values also. Here it is stopped with 1, right? Even you can take 1.2 also. Okay, nothing is wrong there. So after writing the frequencies, the next step is we are going to find the values. Here I am having tan inverse of 3 omega, right? So for each value of omega, just substitute here. Tan inverse of 3 into 0.5 will give you this one. Tan inverse of 4 into 0.15 will give you this one, right? Similarly, you just finish the table. And finally, this is our formula. So after finding this term and this term, just substitute the values over here. That is minus 90 minus 24.22 minus 30.96. Once you solve this using a calculator, you are getting the value as minus 146. The angle should be always in rounded form. That is, you should not have angle like this, minus 145.6 something. Even if you get answer like this, you should round it off. Okay. Finally, I had written the rounded off values. So, this is our table number 2. From this table number 2, we are going to plot the phase plot. Right. So here I stop this problem. Hope you people understand the concepts well. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you.